Hi. Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Who is here? Who is here and who is excited? So today I'm excited because this topic that I'll be discussing today is one I wish I I saw discussed before now. Yeah. You know, when we start coming up as writers and we want to write our books, it's pushing us, it's shocking us. <laughs> write your book and publish. We keep hearing that ebooks are easier to publish, and it's actually easier to publish an ebook. But they not tell us. They not tell us. For me personally, I lost a lot when I started publishing my book. When I published my book, Who Are You Really? So and, I finally found. Sorry, and I published my book, Who Are You Really? And I, 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 I we had an e version of it, and we also had printed version of it. But then the challenge of having the ebook without having it protected was huge. And I wish I had someone tell me what to do, what to not do, what to avoid, and how exactly I can protect my ebooks from being hijacked. It was really painful. It was really painful. And today I have the founder of Waretal, Mr. Fola Fola Bade and we'll be discussing how to protect your ebook from being hijacked by scammers by some people who will hijack your ebook and start selling to other people you know so you want to ensure that the people that are getting your digital interact intellectual property your written digital intellectual property or product are the ones that you have given permission to get access to it and if you are using a third party or a second party to you know distribute your work you want to ensure that only those ones that they have given consent to gain access to your book can actually gain access to it okay so all we'll be discussing today is how to protect your ebook ebook very important from being hacked or from being hijacked by all these what would I call them now? All these sharks and whales on the internet that are just looking for opportunities to enrich themselves, all right? So let me know where you're joining me from before I bring on my guest for today, who you already know or don't know already, Mr. Fola Fola Gwade. Hello, Divine. Good to have you on here. Good afternoon. Hi, Dorcas. Good to have you here. Chuku Dioto. Good afternoon. Good to have you on here. So before I go ahead also, share this video and tag your friends, all right? You can share or you tag your friends. Or you can do both of them. I mean, you can't do much. You can't do too much, right? So get the people that you need to be on this stream to actually join because you don't want to spend so much time creating a product only for it to be in the hands of people who do not even know the worth and who are using it not just without your consent but also using it to enrich themselves too all right so share this video and get other people to join all right hi Kelechuku. Uh, good afternoon dandy good afternoon where are you watching me from where are you joining us from so while you're doing that let me bring on our guest for today hi maurice good to have you here let me have our guest on here, the celebrity publisher. Before I bring you on, you know, there's, there's, there's this look that he has. Wherever you see a hat like this, just so that it's Mr. Fola, there's every chance that it is him. <laughs> so I'm bringing up our guest with the hat. That's how you know it's a celebrity publisher. And I'm so excited because this is my boss at Waritao. And, you know, I have projects i've worked with him on several projects and not once has he under delivered so if he's having this conversation with you you know that he really cares about your intellectual property and he wants to help you learn how to protect it so give it up for mr fola for like my day let me see your 
favorite emojis in the comments maybe the fire emoji or whatever let me see your emojis in the comments mr fall are you ready i'm bringing you on right away okay good, good to afternoon, be here sir. thank you thank you good afternoon can you hear me very well is I my audio you good loud and clear. yes i can is my audio good i can yes it is awesome You're thank very you welcome. thank you for having me in here thank you. Thank, thank you thank you mr Fala, you. when i launched my book in 2020 Great. yeah who are you really i launched my book mm. and um i don't know what i was thinking but I, i'll just leave it to i'll allow ignorance to take the blame because i launched it i put the book out on a mm. platform and people were just downloading and downloading. People were downloading mm. and sharing. Not just that. They were downloading and sharing. And there were some, some people were downloading and selling also. Mm. I did not even know. It was happening at the back. At, you know. Uh, and then recently... The, 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 <laughs> at the back, one, yeah. I can... when, I, when I have this kind of experience, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know whether to be happy or how to exactly respond to that. So recently, somebody told me, um, Ma... I just went through your book, Who Are You Really? And it really blessed me. Thank you so much for writing, so much for pulling, pouring out your heart. And I'm like, do you read the ebook or the sort of the, the printed book? So I read the ebook. And then I'll, I'll be like, I'll check my dashboard. Nobody bought that ebook recently. So, how exactly did this person get this book? How did you get it? To read? You know. Mm. So, I, I really don't know how to respond to that to say, yeah. So, because somebody must have sent the book to him or her, mm. right? And they and they and they gain access to without mm. my consent, which is very heartbreaking for somebody mm -hmm. who has spent so much time investing in a masterpiece, in a written work, only for that book to be distributed mm. without their consent, not just their consent, but without them gaining direct returns or even indirect returns from the distribution of their work. Have you had any experience mm. with authors? about this but before i even go ahead with that please for the sake of my audience that yeah. i'm getting to know for the first time can we get to know you and what you did before you answer the question i just asked all right um thank you once again Chinasa, for having me here i am Fola Fola Gbadi, the celebrity publisher i help people um you know take their knowledge into i mean transform their knowledge into a masterpiece you understand like books right mainly books right yeah so if you're a writer out there and you want to be an author all right that is what i do and of course we do this for busy professional mostly and of course even people that are not busy but they just need that partner on the journey you know and the publishing journey that's what we do and i am the president of war okay. yes okay the publishing house yeah in lagos nigeria of course with um you know um riches all over the world right yeah so that's what i that's what i do at warita okay now to your question okay that's the part of if i've experienced um, this before i may not have experienced it directly myself that is people um um downloading my work you understand and then distributing it but of course um because i'm a publisher and of course because of the my network i've seen it happen i've seen severally you understand like in lot of people um you know they just get into that and okay so there was one that um, happened i saw it here on facebook the lady published the book as free book you understand and did everything you know um the design, the interior design, and now started selling it as ebook. And someone else picked the book, right? The ebook. The guy just changed the author's name and just put his own name. Printed wow. copies, not just ebook this time around. Printed copies of the book and then picked a launch date. You understand? And was now promoting the launch date. That is the guy design i mean use the design use the content use everything and was protect i mean promoting the you know um the launch day of the book you understand and the lady was 
ranting on Facebook, you know, talking about it. It's, you know, of course, it's painful for such a thing, for you to experience such a thing, right? Yeah, so, and, um, so I've seen several cases, several issues, and it, it, it bothers me that, okay, fine, there are ways to go about those things. Why is it that people are not doing it the right way? when you can actually do it the right way all right when you can actually reduce to to, to you know to the dearest minimum the 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 chances of people getting your content pirated getting it um you know all these infringers getting into um, access yeah. to your books and then distributing it without your consent and that is why we are here today to discuss some of the things you need to do to protect your um that intellectual property that book you've written against these infringers all right yeah so that is his yes to answer your question straight i have seen it happen even though it didn't happen to me my i mean directly but it's it's everywhere it's happening every time every time yeah wow <laughs> i it, it's such a horrible experience that i wouldn't want any other author to to have even if it's my enemy mm. right mm. because it hurts it hurts this is your this is this is your intellectual sweat. This is your brain juices. This is your brain mm. juice that you actually put into words only mm. for somebody else. And sometimes I wonder why we even have to go this length. I wonder why we are even having this conversation sometimes. Because, I mean, we are all human beings. We have emotions. So why would somebody just wake up now and decide, today, I want to pirate someone's work? How would somebody oh. just have the mind to actually hijack someone else's work and claim it mm. as there or just distribute it i've seen somebody add someone else's cause as a mm. bonus to a cause that they are selling mm. just imagine and it's so heartbreaking it's so so heartbreaking and that is why we're having this conversation today so mr fola mm. please please we know that ebooks are easier to print and cost effective right yeah yeah you don't have to compared to printing to published book or printed books you don't have to spend yeah. so much on the publishing aspect of it yeah yeah and because it is easier we have a lot of people who are writing ebooks a lot and sharing and downloading and um, sharing on whatsapp sharing on or via email and all that only for them to see their works at different places that they did not actually send it places. so what mm. can you say or how do you how do we how do we start protecting our ebooks like what can i do to protect because I'm, I'm planning to write another book and i'm planning to um host have it also as an ebook right e -book but this time well. i don't okay. want to risk putting it out there and leaving it vulnerable for hackers and pirates to just take advantage of it. So please, how can authors protect their ebooks, especially ebooks? Protect them. Yeah. Ebooks. All right. Um, I will start with this foundation that um, um, it starts with how you are going to how you are taking that your content. That is how important that content is to to you it starts mm. from there because what i i notice sometimes is oftentimes most people um they write books and it's just one of those things they are not writing it from a place of writing book should be uh something you are doing not for just for today but for even tomorrow it's a legacy it's one of those things that you do that would live after you and if you mm. have that mindset you want to get it done rightly except it's not important to you. So I would lay that foundation. The book you're writing, is it so important to you? Is it a book that you are going to do everything to protect to a large extent? Because some people actually write um, books to um, just to create some kind of a controversy and just to um, be everywhere, not because they want to, um, they want the book, they want to make real money from the book or they want the book to to last for long 
all right they just want the book to be everywhere so those kind of people will not mind if their book is uh, being pirated or if it's being you know distributed even because those pirates will ah, help them to you, the books to reach the nooks you and understand family. it's getting them yes. exactly so if you are that kind of person maybe this is not for you all right but if you are that person that uh, that wants your um your content to still be your content for a very long time and you still want your name attached to that content for a very long time then you want to listen to some of the things i will be sharing today all right yeah so um the first thing is um a lot of people don't know that you are um, supposed to um copyright your content all right you are supposed to copyright it from the onset so yes i will share ways by which your books can be protected but um even in any case if someone um still went ahead to um you know break the rule and then do something about it and then the person is able to get access to if you have copyrighted the book then you have a case but if you've not done yeah. that my dear you don't have a case someone else can pick it up and uh, you know um um claim the rights to the resources and in short if the person go ahead to even copyright and then trademark before you uh the that. person is going to be the rightful owner of the content all right so um, i'll start by saying that you should copyright the content especially if you're looking at a long time thing and if you believe in that content okay so um you you copyright the content and then you may want to copy i mean trademark the title if the title is unique all right so there are some titles that are generic that you can't trademark but of course if the title is unique all right you can trademark it okay all right so the second thing is um you want to get some people will say okay because it's um it's an ebook i don't need isb and i don't need to register it with national library okay you want to do it for this if you think that content is worth it all right so the first thing is to believe that the content is worth it right so if you think the content is worth it you want to register it with the national library of the country you have all right and if you're working with a publishing house like ours all right we are able to help you to process it and um, get um the, the the number registered all of this okay so the next thing you also want to do so I, if you follow me very well, you know that I am I'm, I'm totally against people selling their book as PDF. It is just a thing I don't support at all. Okay, and I will give my reasons in this live um, show. So when it comes to PDF, selling your book, I don't, even the platforms, though I won't be mentioning platforms names, right? But um, the platforms that sell as, um, that will tell you they accept PDF, I would suggest that you run from such platforms because really PDF will give, once anybody lay hold of PDF material, the material is gone. That is the book is already ready for print. So some of those platforms that would um, accept PDF for you to come and sell the, your book as PDF on the platform, once the people are able to download that resources, that material, whichever way, right, you sh the book is as good as gone. And especially if the platform is now available, as in the asset is accessible on um, laptop, if it's just mobile, it's still you may still want to but if it's accessible on laptop you have opened it up because people are able to hack into laptop as a system devices more than mobile okay so once you are um place if you want to place your book the one that you cherish maybe there are some that you don't cherish like that you just want it out there yes you can put it on these platforms that of course they can um have the the um they, they accept pdf and then people um assess it anyhow but trust me once someone that is a bit techy gets hold of that book and the book is very good right and the person is able to download it it's gone yeah this popular this thing OT law right it's gone because pdf the thing about pdf is once they get it it's just for them to be sending it on whatsapp they are not even doing anything again 
there, there is no stress, nothing again. They will just send it on WhatsApp. They will just share it on. And like you said the other time, that some people, uh, you, you don't know why we are having this kind of conversation because you feel that ordinarily people should know what is right and wrong, right? Exactly. But this is the this is the world we are in, right? Is in the same world that I uh, in Lagos, I I, I, I will be driving. I've, I've driven in Lagos, like people, they've attacked me inside traffic like three times, like inside wow. my car, you know, driving in traffic and they come to attack me, these guys. So this, this is the world we live in. We will still have people that will want to um, take from you, you understand, without anything. So that's just it, you know. And in this, I, I don't know, people will do these things without any form of um, guilt or anything when they want to share your content. They even see it as normal. Like they share it on WhatsApp group, they share it on there, you know, it's just like normal to them. I don't know why, but that is the word we are in. Okay. So back to the points I was um, you know, listing. Um the part of um PDF, please, when you see a platform that accepts PDF, be careful of such a platform. So as ebook now, so there are platforms that will accept your PDF as print on demand. That is, when people order your book as print, they are not making this PDF available for the public, but they are using that PDF to print your book when people order for it, all right? Yeah, so those platforms are better because they are not making your PDF available to the public, all right? And even those platforms, if they want to accept any ebook or whatsoever, they accept only what we call EPUB. All right, this EPUB is a form of an um, ebook that um, can only be accessible by or readable by EPUB um, reader. All right, which in, in most cases, those platforms already have those readers embedded in their platform. So if um, ordinarily someone comes to um, download the EPUB by enemies maybe the person is a tech whatsoever and the person get into the hip-hop the person will still have to take extra effort one to take it to a hip-hop reader two to now still design it if the person want to put it as pdf do you understand so there are still work that the person will do unlike when the person will just get access to it as pdf you have done everything for the person it's easier for them to just start sending it it's easier for them to start selling it like that and so um it's easier for them to even be interested in pirating your book all right so because it's yeah. it's as good it's ready to go all right so i would say that please don't sell your book as your precious book as pdf if you don't want it to be open to the public and uh, these infringers to get on board all right yeah so another thing i would also mention is these platforms you are putting your book all right so there is something called uh, digital rights management right that's drm all right drm is it's it's a form of um, um software that protects intellectual property as in um, that you put on these platforms so if you are checking if you're putting your book on a particular platform, you want to check if they have DRM, all right? Because most of these ebook platforms don't even have, all right? So your book is still there and one or two things, someone is able to download it. But with DRM protection, they, 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 they would hardly be able to get into your book, all right? They will hardly be able to get into your book, DRM protection um that's a um, digital um rights protection i mean management all right so you want to check if the platform you're putting the book has that as well okay and um another thing you also want to do sometimes which is about the last point i will be talking i will be you know talking about before i will allow chinasa to ask me some other questions she may have for me will be that when you release your ebook you should also track it. That is, check on Google sometimes. Put the title. Check if they are, if, if you put the book on a particular platform, if you are seeing it on another platform, do your own research. All right, yeah, DRM, yeah, Digital um, Rights Management. All right, so do your own research. Go on Google 
search for the book and see if it's somewhere else again or, or someone else. So you can do all of those things. But if you have protected it, which which was where I started from by um, getting the and uh, the, the resources uh, copyrighted. If you have trademarked the title, if it's a unique title, all right. If you have um, if you if you didn't sell as PDF and is EPUB, if it uh, and and if you have considered the platform you are putting it on to be platform that has um, DRM, right? You can hardly get this book out. It can hardly get out of that. I mean, your 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 the the places you you have put it, all right. And um, you can be rest assured that your book is protected. And these guys that are jobless, looking for in, in some cases, it's not like they are jobless. It's just that um, because they're taking it to be job. a job. Uh -huh. So they've taken it as a job. So you can say they, you can say they are jobless, right? But um, you are able to just remove yourself out of the, the numbers, you know, people that they can, um, you know, get their materials, content without their consent. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I will allow Naza to ask me more questions if there are any. Okay. So before I go on with one or two questions that I have, if you have. Yeah. learned anything please drop them in the comments and if you have any question too if you have any question please also drop them here we have mr fola here to answer if you if you got a book a session on warita you know how much you will be charged so this is your opportunity to ask him any question okay on ebook creation so i thought i knew these things actually but then you came from a different Angle, Mr. Fola, and I must say thank you for sharing this. I've been hearing hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. But I, I did not really. I just saw it as as a format, another format of um, digital mm. books. But I did not really understand. Yeah. So, where my book is hosted, I'm not getting to see and hear that just having it as PDF hosted there on the platform is not even safe. So right now, I'm going to go and put it down. Let it be that I don't have any PDF right now because I can't have... Yeah, a lot of damage has been done already, but I cannot have yeah. more damage being... Yeah. Um, I can't have more damage being done. So thank you very mm. much for saying that. Um, talking yeah. of DRM, EPUB, and talking of platforms, right? Yeah. Okay, before, I go, before I go on with that, let me ask this question that is here. Um. Professor was asking, "How is it? To, how easy is it to copyright and trademark a book?" Okay, so it's it. Um, we do that, all right, at Warita. So if okay. we are working with you and uh, we explain this to you, and you are opting in for that, we are able to help you get your title trademark and, of course, um, the the content and uh, copyrighted. So it's, it's pretty easy as far as um, you are working with the right people, all right? So um, we are able to help you get that done. Yeah, and of course, you can also walk into the copyright um, office if there is anyone in your state, all right? You can walk in there and um, make more findings about this, but it's, it's pretty easy. If your title is unique, it's not, you can't use... You can use um, some titles that maybe a title that has already been in existence, okay, and expect it to fly. So recently, adding to that trademark of the thing, recently we all know things fall apart. You know, uh, the yeah. book, all right. Um, um, what was it called? Um, Fifty cents. Yeah, Fifty Cent was going to make a movie with that title, right? And he requested. But, you, but if he had not done the um what's it called the trademarking then it won't be the rightful owner of the title okay so he requested for it and he said no mm. it's not right with Wisdom. money with money he wanted to pay him but the guy said no he's not he didn't allow him to use the title yeah he didn't allow him so hey, so that's God, that's a very good God, example of how um protecting trademarking your title can help you it may not be now it can be later 
all right but because he has uh, you know already um trademarked the title is more like the rightful owner of that title those this, words this right things fall apart these are words that suffer. we we know about <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Anymore. Yeah. My yeah, it, it's, so it's, it's on Google. That... You can you can you can confirm this claim on Google. My goodness, Mr. Fola, I only what was I thinking when I heard trademark your title? I didn't think deeply about it until you mentioned it now. I'd only known about mm. copywriting your content. Mm. Right? I didn't know yeah. that you could actually yeah. trademark a title. And <laughs> my you goodness, can. goodness. Oh my god, Tinaza, Tinaza. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my you god! Can. Now I have a title that I need to trademark ASAP. I'm coming yeah. to inbox awesome. uh, after this awesome. session. What? Awesome. What? You can, you what? can actually. Because so this must be this must be what is done when these whites, let's say, um uh, one book by Shakespeare wants to be adapted into a movie or by Harry Potter. So they would have to exactly. actually take if that book was straight if the title was trademarked, they would have to yeah. get consent from, from the, the author. And yeah. usually it's not free, right? It's from not the free. Author yeah. Before they can adapt it to a movie. Ha! Ah, God. That's it. Even, and it's not just even about adapting it to a movie. You might somebody might like that title and want to adapt it to maybe a conference theme or um, a song title or anything that it wants to be adapted into, but it's already trademarked, yeah. so you must get permission. Yeah. Hey, God, do it now. It's already ah, trademarked. My God. It's trademarked. My God. Yeah, trademark. Trademark, trademark is, is, is powerful, and um, <laughs> hey, God, in this part of the world, maybe because maybe because we are not exposed to the knowledge and um, we joke around it, we play around it, and all of that, you know. No, but it's it's actually very very powerful. Yeah, we are we are talking about books. That's why we are narrowing it down to books and their book title. Of course, if you're also doing business, you also want to trademark your name. You want to trademark your logo. You understand? So for instance, now everything we do at Warrior is trademark the Warrior, the logo, and everything. You understand? Because we know where we are headed. All right, so I'm you also want to. I'm trademarking everything. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trademarking my yeah, smile. So... Nobody should smile like me. This period is. Ah, <laughs> you want to trademark <laughs> your face? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trademarking this yeah. style. Yeah, yeah that's the style that I used to make those mm -hmm. days. In 2020, 2021, it was like a signature hairstyle. I'm mm -hmm. going to make it again. I'm going to trademark it. <laughs> Should I trademark where we do? Where we do? So, oh, Tina, I see your life. Interesting, yeah. yeah. I'm seriously paid right yeah. now that I do not have this information. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's um, like, like I always say, when you wake up, it's your money. So now okay, that you are getting to know me, about though. this, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's still early. All right, now that you're waking up, you are picking this up and um, what you do with this information will make a lot of changes you know into what you do but it's important to to learn more and um, do stuff around trademarking your stuff okay especially if that thing means something to you right if it means something to you okay yeah wow thank you sir <laughs> now that one was for me don't ask that question but it was now for me Thank you very much. It was for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for really breaking me down. Now, you see, see my head doing when, 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 when for all the things I need to treat. Wait, 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 wait. How come I can hear the sound? Yeah. I can hear the sound. <laughs> I'm hearing the sound. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually hearing the sound. Yeah. Ah. The wing, wing, wing. Ah. Ah. It's so loud. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, Amazon is KDP is is safe, right? I, I, uh, this is the only question I will answer about platforms, right? Because I am not doing this live to 
put down any platform or to yeah. elevate any platform, right? Yeah. yeah. So if I, I'm able to answer this because it's a good platform. So I'm now wondering if someone asks another one that is a platform I can <laughs> recommend. This is the last one. And if I don't... Platforms again. <laughs> uh -huh. So if I... So, but for this, uh, Amazon KDP is good because Amazon KDP has the protection. And of course, Amazon Amazon KDP is um, only accepting, um, you know, hip hop. And even if they accept your Microsoft Word, they convert it to hip hop. All right, but they are not using your PDF as ebook. You understand? They are not using your PDF as ebook. And again, even this PDF, people. Another thing about hip hop, for the benefit of someone watching this and getting to hear about hip hop today. Um, People have better experience when they read books that are on hip hop. That's just the truth. Because um, PDF will already it's, it's already originally made for print. So when you are when you are reading PDF on a, a laptop, when you're reading it on the mobile, everything is the same. But when you are reading hip hop, hip hop, you are able to change the font size. You are able to change the font. It's as if you are on Microsoft Word. So you are able to based on your your height, based on the gadget you are using, based on all of that, is that flexible? All right, yeah. So I honestly encourage people to, um, you know, embrace, you know, reading books or publishing their books as hip-hop, aside, um, aside all the other reasons that I mentioned earlier. All right, so people would also have better experience reading a book that is being formatted or uh, published as hip-hop, if it's an e-book. Okay, so uh, Amazon KDP is great. It's great. Okay. The, the, both the hip hop and the print on demand. Mr. Fola, you were yeah. talking about platforms, right? Yeah. And you talked about yeah. hip hop, you talked about DRM. And we yeah. now know that majority of the platforms that we have, or yeah. that we, we, we take our books to, do not have these provisions, right? Yeah. And um, I know, or let me ask, before I ask another question, does Waritao publish ebooks? Yes or no? Sure. We actually publish ebooks, okay? And um, a lot of people have been asking me why our platform, the uh, book place, is not out. Okay, these are one of the reasons, among many other reasons, why the Bookplace platform is not up and is going to be up by October. So we've been working on it for like two years because I just don't want... Mr. Fala, all... I asked a question. I asked a question. Mm -hmm. I said yes or no. Okay. Are yes, you yes, yes, we published... You say how we felt yeah, Okay, exactly. yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> my bad, boss. <laughs> Master, my bad. <laughs> yes, okay. good, we do. So... Yeah. Warita publishes ebooks, right? Ebooks, yes, we do. And I know you've gone ahead of me, but I'll, I'll bring you back. Okay, thank you. I know you. that um, we have an application coming up, right? Yeah. A platform yeah. coming up for yeah. publication. Not just for publication, right? We have several amazing stop. things in yeah. stock. But <laughs> yeah. one of the things we'll be doing at Bookplace is publishing having a platform where authors can actually have their books published someone asked yes. a question and i'm going to put it out here just in line with what i'm saying um are books published at warrior are free from these hackers like this um are they on epop are they do they have do, um, those warrior or the book plays app have drm are they are mm -hmm. the ebooks published by warrior are they safe protected from mm. being hijacked and pirated okay good question if you if you ask me and um to answer that question straight our books are protected um but you know public uh, warita is um we have three type of publishing houses we have the hybrid we have the um, um, self-publishing houses, and then yeah. we have the traditional. But what how we operate is between hybrid and self-publishing. Okay, so by that, to a large extent, our authors still have big power. They have superpower. So what we do is to advise. So we would advise you that okay, fine. These are the platforms that 
we are recommending. But like I started with, um, for some people, they just want their book to be everywhere. So you will still see some of Warita's book on some platforms that, of course, even though they are not Warita, Warita recommended platforms. But because the author is the sponsor and the author wants the book there, even after advising, you understand? We would do that because, like I said, people publish for different reasons. Okay, so if if the book really, really matters to you and you want the book and the, the information there is not something that would, um, would be obsolete in the next one year or, or two years, you want the book to For long, right? You want to be careful, but so when they come and they say they want it in on those platforms that we uh, to respect their opinion, even when we are not uh, as book on some platforms that that not related. We say like maybe they accept um, PDF, and that's because the author um, Mr. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. You were not hearing me. I could hear you, but it was really dragging. Okay, I, I was thinking it was my network, but I think it's clear now. You can go ahead, please. Sorry, sorry about that. It's clear now. Okay, yeah. so you didn't hear all I said. I could hear, I, we could hear you, but it was not, the, the motion was static, kind of, but we can hear you. Oh, oh okay. So, yeah. and to recap, I said um, we are able to, um, we publish, there are some of our books on this, um, we call it unsecured platforms, and that's because our authors are the sponsors of their publication. So we can only advise. And when we advise, they um, maybe for their reasons, is, is it good now? Is my network good? Please let me know. I can't see China Sai again. I just want to know if my network is good. If you can hear me, please let me know. Unfortunately, I can't see. Um, I'm here, please. It was raining, so I had to go close the window. So Oh, okay, okay, okay. I even thought it was network issue and all that. Okay. All right. So, like I said, there are Warita's book. Is my network good? Can you hear me? Is my yes, audio good? Hear. Is yes. it still dragging? No, it's good. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Okay. So, there are some Warita's books on um, these platforms that we ordinarily won't have, um, you know, recommended, but because the authors are the ones sponsoring the publication, we have to also, we can only, the best we can do is to advise, all right? And when we advise and they still want the book there, we will do the job. It's not, it's not a big deal for us to put it on those platforms. We are able to put it on any platform, right? But mm -hmm. we will advise you, even though you are paying us to do it, but we will still advise you that you should um, um, not put it there. But like I said, depending on the reason for the publication people are publishing their book for different reasons so for some people they just want the book everywhere so they won't care they don't really it's not a thing for them let them people just, just be able to assess sent message to someone before that why are you selling your book as pdf don't you even it's that person said no i don't really care i just want the book to be everywhere so if there are people that don't care you understand but if you care yeah. and you think that resources really matter to you and you want it to be uh your own um uh you know content for a very long time okay you want to put this thing in place all right <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> so I, I i i i don't know was i able to answer your question very well yes you're able to answer all right so i've had another question here how yeah. much does Warita charge for trademarking? 
Okay. Um, I'm on to learning something on this trademarking. I'm seriously learning something. Okay, so it varies. It depends on what we are trademarking. It depends on um, the... And, and when it comes to trademarking, there are different, um, uh, you know, ways, different areas, different parts to um, trademarking. What I, by that I mean, you may want to trademark a particular name or product um, to cover. It's just like insurance that you will cover some some aspects. For instance, now you can I can trademark um, China Sap fever that nobody will be able to use it uh, as um, marketing collateral. You understand? But someone else can use it for something else. You understand? Uh -huh. So there is there are different levels to this trademarking thing so that let me give you an instance now there's this comedian i won't mention name there's this comedian that um used a name and came up that that um i think a slang came up with a slang and he trademarked it you understand so the slang was everywhere he trademarked it actually but um he trademarked it for uh, financial houses alone that is only financial houses because to him he thought uh, that name will be suitable as slang for financial houses you understand so he trademarked it that financial houses will not be able to use it and if they use it he will take it up but lo and behold um, it was another industry that now used it so oh, that wow. thing came up that time Yes, it was another industry that used it. So there is another way of also trademarking that you are able to cover for all industry, that nobody in um, financial houses, uh, fi whichever way, will not be able. But he just did for only that area. Okay, so and then um, another industry used it. He now raised alarm. And we heard about it. If you are a com uh, if you love comedy, you will know what I'm the person I'm talking about, right? Um, all these are our Instagram, Facebook, um, you know, uh, comedians. So we heard about it because it was everywhere that oh, this guy is suing these people for using, um, you know, his um, his line, you know. But he couldn't go ahead at some point because the, the what he did, the part he covered, the, the trademarking covered, uh, you know, did not get to. I mean, he didn't cover their own industry. Their industry is different. They are, they are playing in another industry, not the financial house. So to answer your question, it depends on uh, what we are trademarking. You can follow me, send me a DM. We can talk about um, the, the, what you need, you know, in particular. And then we can see how we can um, advise. And then we can see what we can do together to help you with, um, you know, trademarking whatever it is that you need. Okay? Yeah. Wow. That was a lot. That hmm. was a lot. Someone is saying that someone asked her of the title of her book or his book and <laughs> he told him that I'll reveal it after the writing. <laughs> because look, I'm really still ideas. Yeah. Okay, great. Let me now, from what she said now, let me now address something again. And um, I should have mentioned it when I was listing the points I was talking about then, but it's okay that she asked this question. All right, so people also um, play small with their book by releasing. I love what she did now. Some yeah. people will just send their, their manuscripts to, to even publishers without um, any... You don't know these publishers to, as in, really know the integrity of the publisher. And of course, you don't even have what we call NDA, non-disclosure agreement, agreement, you know, because when when we have that at worry to that, OK, fine. When you send your manuscript or when you are um, 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 having conversation with us, we send it to you, the NDA that, OK, fine, this is our NDA terms that, um, you know, protect your your manuscript and you still remain the owner of this concept i mean the the what the storyline and everything okay so yeah. even as an author you can have your own nda that when you are sending your book to a publishing house you send the nda first sign this contract right you can prepare it yourself prepare the nda or if you have a lawyer friend or whatsoever do that People are playing small when it comes to publishing their books and they don't know that it's a lot. 
you yeah. know i've heard story of someone that also <laughs> sent um, um um his manuscript to a publisher in nigeria and they couldn't work together for some reasons you understand the normal thing the publisher was supposed to drop the, the book and uh, move on right but he came to nigeria that's the person he came to nigeria to attend the conference and he saw his book that he sent to a publisher that the publisher did they couldn't work together him himself he hasn't even probably probably dropped the book at that point he couldn't move on with it but the publisher went on to publish the book wow the same book that he wrote and sent and they couldn't agree on terms and all so if there was nda signed if there was um you know an, a sort of agreement signed before you send your so you send your manuscript to an editor and you just feel that uh maybe you just send it to the editor and that's it because you saw the editor on facebook because you feel that okay this person you know you also want to protect because these editors are also writers a lot of editors are writing books so what could also happen is they may even do it unconsciously if they are not pro um, professional unconsciously means that they've read through your book and then when they are now writing their own you understand they will just you know it's 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 a file thing you understand they've studied and they will start yes. using some of your lines some of your stories some of your points some of your this thing in their own book or in someone else's book that they are working on you understand so a, a lot of things you know there so you need to consider a lot when you are releasing your manuscript to someone okay to maybe um, uh, um, uh, um uh, an editor a publisher there should be a kind of a sort of um you know um agreement especially if you don't if you can't vouch for the for the um integrity of um of the person or the brand okay and even if you can um, vouch if your instinct is telling you otherwise please do an nda yourself non-disclosure agreement a contract sort of and share with the, um, this person involved all right yeah so I, I i think i was able to answer your question it's okay that you did not um give the person your title yet it's okay that you are um you are selfish with your content it's your content please be selfish with it I think I think another right, yeah. angle to this is also to make sure that and this this is so important, Mr. Pola. Ah, somebody say ignorance is bad. Ah, I don't, I, I, I'm just looking at myself and I can see how I messed a lot of things up. Honestly, I'm I'm happy we're having this conversation. I'm, I'm happy I'm working with Warital, but I'm happy that we are having this conversation and more people are able to mm. get this information right. One of the things that people do, mm. and they are being advised to do these things, is once you have the idea yeah. of your book, even before you are, in fact, when you start writing your book, create a cover, and mm. you start announcing the book and all that to build enthusiasm and you know help make people to want to expect mm. your book, right? Which is a very good marketing strategy. But then there's something mm. else that needs to be before that happens before putting out your work or your 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 your, your title to the public all these trademarks yeah. and copywriting and yeah. all these other things are supposed to have been done before you even put it out to the public because you don't know who is looking and who is watching right but then most of the time once we get the idea and we have written um the first line not even the first chapter we have created a cover and we have put it out there Right, which is very, very bad. But somebody else might see, just like Quick Gift said, somebody else might see that and just take your title and trademark it. In that case, you become the the, the, the thief, right? <laughs> you are the one that originated or that came up with the idea, but you cannot even go on because somebody else has taken it and run with it. So it is very, very important. Thank you for that for, for making this statement gift it's really really important okay when mr Fala comes back he's going to answer how to contact warita okay trash is asking say what after this program teach us how to write because what are we gonna copyright when we can't write <laughs> well Warita has a 
Warata, if, even if you cannot write, Warata can write your books for you, right? They have a team of writers and editors that can help your book become great, really, really great. You just tell them what you want the book to be about. They do don't go straight, that's what it's called. So just tell them what the book is about, what you expect and all that. And their team of ghostwriters will get to work and develop an, a, an amazing masterpiece for you. Okay? Um, do I have any question here? Mr. Pala is back. Let me bring him on stream. Okay. Sorry about that. Welcome My back. My network. Welcome Thank back. you. Okay, so I was just telling somebody that even if you don't know how to write, because it was like, what I should teach them how to write. And I said, even if you don't know how to write, that we have a team of ghostwriters at Warita, right? Yeah. That can help yeah. to flesh out their ideas too. So, yeah. don't have to worry much about it. Um, do you have any question here? That and can... um, let me add to this that um, we are presently running a, a, a promotion we want to have more people to get their book out as ebook right and um chinasa made a post about it i think some days ago as well okay so there's this plan we've recently released in the name of chinasa <laughs> you know so it's uh, it's an ebook platform um, um plan that um of course uh, uh, most of those things that we discussed, um, they are there. And of course, um, there are bonuses coming with this um, offer. Okay, so it's supposed to be more. We are going to undo your editing like the editors are, uh, you know, professional. So you can be very, very sure. A lot of people don't take their editing seriously and forgetting that um, um, people will not notice um, um, a book that is edited well. But people will notice a book that is not edited well. So if That's your book right. is not edited well, people may not talk. People will not talk. They may not even notice. But let's about. make mistake. Yeah, hey, make mistake. You understand? And then ah, this book is tiring. This book I would have been. They won't have good experience. All right. So mm -hmm. you also don't want to joke with your um, editing. And a lot of people don't even know that. Um, Editing is more than just um, correcting the grammatical errors, right? Yeah. So you also, what that's part of what we do. We help you to restructure your content if, ne if uh, need be if to need make be. it um, um, good, right? Yeah, if need be to make it good for the readers to have better experience reading. It's not how you pull, uh, make Facebook posts that you write a book. It's not the same thing. You understand? There are so many things to put into consideration when working on your book. And we are, if need be, we are able to help you to reconstruct even some lines and make it even more, um, you know, appealing while retaining your voice. Okay, so your voice will still be there. We still maintain your voice. We, we, we do all of that to make sure that it's not sounding. Even if we go straight for you, it will still sound like you because we will go ahead to watch. If you have content on social media, we look at how you sound. We observe you. We do a lot of, uh, you know, homework to make sure that the content still sounds like you and uh, reads like you, what you would have written. Okay, and then we do a lot of interview and help you to bring out the content from your head and convert it into a proper book, right? So all of this, you're safe. We are handling it. And the, the, the content, um, Chinasa, I believe maybe before the end of this week again, she's going to post about this um, offer that we recently released, okay, which, of course, she has um, Chinasa, our brand ambassador's face on. Okay, so you can mm -hmm. you can jump on the offer and um, you get so many bonuses like um, having an interview with Chinasa like this for 30 minutes to discuss about your book. Isn't that yeah. amazing? Chinasa and style, if you don't know. <laughs> mm? <laughs> I'm sure you know. Okay, so you will be able to have interview like this with Chinasa and have conversation about your book so that more people can get to know you and your book and even Amy Kanobis, and even on my timeline. And aside that, we're going to get you on TV station, get you on radio station, get you on newspaper. So many benefits that comes with just um, publishing your book as ebook. We love authors. We support authors. We give everything to, um, to push 
authors out there because I strongly believe that every author should be a celebrity. That's my goal. I want every author to be a celebrity. And that's why we do everything to support, to get on the media, to do everything we can do to get authors out there because it's not easy to be an author. It's not really easy to, to, to write a book. All right, yeah. So that is why Warrior exists. All right, thank you so very much. I love, I actually love this section and I would love to work with you guys to bring my ideas to reality, honestly, Warrior. Thank you so very much that we are waiting. In short, you are the one we are waiting for now. <laughs> Read this oh, one, gosh, God of mercy. <laughs> God of mercy, it's good to be here. I have really sent out my manuscript to someone, though I have not finished the book. Oh, so, you so can, you can. About, I, I, about, I think the NDA, you know, the background work that you just that she did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you, you just, you just heard about that today. Now you can go online to read more about NDA. That's a non-disclosure agreement. You can uh, prepare it with a lawyer or something. Maybe not just for this book alone. It could also be for some other. You will just be using it for some other things, you know, that you are coming up with, okay? So you need it in this age and time that people are, are, are using other people's um, resources anyhow. You understand? Yeah. All right. So So sorry about your experience, but you can still work on it now, okay? indeed thank knowledge so is power much. thank you for the thank you for this book security it, it, it's, it's like really that. book security i was looking for somebody to make that comment it's really <laughs> book, book security, security yeah. Yeah. i mean we can't really 100 percent full proof the process but mm. to the extent that we possibly can we need to right yes yes like somebody printing a book working with um, a publishing company let's say working with warrior to print a book i mean you yeah. can't really say that nobody will reprint this book without yes yes, so will yes. Still attempt because human yes. beings we are we are wonderful species thank god i'm studying psychology yeah mm. we're wonderful species mm. but then to the extent that you know when you have you these can. security measures in place you can reclaim exactly. your property when it exactly. is like that. So, exactly. Wow. I, I knew we were going to have a wonderful time, but this is more than I, I expected it to be. And I'm sure that everybody Thank here, you. you know, really learned a lot from this session. Thank you very much, Mr. Fuller. You see, why you. He, you, see, you, you see why Warital is the publishing company you should work with? There are so many companies that will not tell you these things. One, because they don't know. And two, because, I mean, it's not a big deal for them. Like, they can actually repurpose your book and because they work with other people. Exactly. Books, which, is, mm. which is really, really sad. But Warital is telling you, even if you did not send us non-disclosure agreements, we are going to send you to sign because we yeah. want to protect your property. We understand exactly. the process that goes on before this is breathed. And even if we are the one working with you on the idea from the ideation stage to the publishing stage, we are going yeah. to make sure that nobody else knows about this. Just worry it out. Thank you so much, Mr. Fuller. Let me see if we have any yeah. other. Yeah. Um, okay. Trash is asking, is NDA legally binding when it wasn't written by a lawyer but yourself? Yes, it is. If you have it um, signed, you understand. Okay. Even if I, if I, it, it, it is. It, it, it is right. So just make sure that you cover all the the loopholes and things that you feel that okay should be protected. Okay. So is it? It's it's legally, it's legally binded. It's not an issue at all. You can Assume you can use it in court. You can use it anywhere. All right. So. It doesn't, yeah. But if if you are big, like you have money to pay lawyer, I wouldn't know the stage you are in life right now. Okay, so if you have money to play, pay lawyer, a lawyer will do a better job because you now you will write it. You may not even look into some other things. Okay, yes. so that's why it's important to um, work with a lawyer. There are some things that you may not even remember, and uh, you may not put in the right times. Okay, so you may want to work with a lawyer in that regard okay and um, yeah but if you are able to 
do it yourself it's still very very useful it's 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 useful anytime so far it's signed like it's been signed by you and also okay. the person yeah okay Cobams. Right. i like your name good one <laughs> yes yes gift is asking so is it a good idea to create a short content maybe a part of what you have written in your book something like keeping something to keep your audience in suspense Okay, 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 I mean, that's everything. She's talking about creating and um, posting snippets. A lead magnet. Like a lead yeah. magnet. Not, well, not magnet, yeah. Like, you know, um, maybe you pick a part of your book and share. So so your, your your audience gets to see, oh, this is, if this is inside this book, I want to read it. You know, just creating snippets and sharing snippets and, you know, building anticipation for it. But okay, like it's anticipation. It's not a lead magnet of some sort yeah yeah so that can be done in different ways that is some people would um we even release a whole chapter for people to be able to download free of charge okay yeah so yeah. some people yes. uh -huh, some people will some people will be sharing the content on social media and creating a buzz around it like you mm -hmm. rightly said yeah i don't think there is any issue with that the only thing is you just want to um make sure that you are not releasing the 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 best parts of the book the cocoa. you understand because this is the truth uh -huh. this is the truth people can buy your book even if you did not release it like that that is you are not releasing it for promotion people can buy your book i can buy china sas book and when reading it i can snap a page and post on my social media i've not really done anything wrong you yes. understand the hand yeah. so if there is anything i've even helped in promoting her book so you can do all of that if it will help in promoting your book but the entire book releasing it is not ideal that's that's um the thing there so you can post some parts you can talk about it you can create a buzz around it you know yeah you can you can actually okay yeah um let me see okay so every other person is saying this is very powerful. So I want to highlight this one and read out the bonuses of this package, okay, of this plan, why you are here. So this person is saying, I am interested in this. You want to work with Warital, and I want to tell you that you're in good hands. Not because I'm the brand ambassador, but because I'm the brand ambassador. But apart from that, you are in mm -hmm. perfect hands, I can say, categorically. So if you have listened to the whole duration of this conversation, you know that Warital is the brand that you want to work with for your book project, right? So we have a a what's it called now? We have a plan for ebook. So yeah. if, I don't know why Mr. Fola, I don't know why Warital came up with this plan, but I think, or this is my own take on it, many people are not able to afford public printed copies of their books, right? Many people cannot afford to print their books immediately. So selling your ebooks can also help you to raise money to print your books. I know people that started with ebooks and then before you know what's going on, maybe a year or two down the line, their books are now in printed format because printing of books is cost yeah. is is you know, requires a lot of money, right? A lot of capital to even get it started. So yeah. if you don't have much to print your book and you really want this book out which I advise because having a book, whether ebook or not, there's someone I know that doesn't even have printed copies, but they have 12 books to their names already. 12. I'm yeah. a proud author of yeah. 12 books. They'll not tell you 12 ebooks. All right? That's it, the that, thing. It, yeah. that it has e in it does not make it any less a book. I need to, to understand yeah. this. Okay? Yeah. So if you cannot afford to print a book, uh, to print a, a couple of copies of your books right now, I think. And I'm suggesting and advising and recommending that you take on Warwick House ebook plan, which is just 480,000 naira. Okay? 480,000 naira to have your book, your ebook published. Now, what are included in this plan? I think this is where they, this is where, um, what's his name? Joseph, uh, Joseph John started dancing in the womb of Elizabeth because the savior has come. Mm -hmm. What is included in this book, all right? Generally, on a very broad scale, 
editing is included, EPUB formatting is included, front cover is included, ISBN is included. Hold on. If you have written to worry how that you want your book cover designed, <laughs> the money will make your heart skip, right? <laughs> So, not to be included in the ebook plan. Trust me, this is still like you're cheating Warrior. If I must put it that way. So, what are the detailed bonuses that are included in this plan? All right. I don't know if Mr. Fala wants to take that, or should I go ahead? No, take take it because okay. they like you more. So. <laughs> <laughs> they like you well, more. Well, that's Let's... debatable. That's the. But once when you came on here, someone already said, Ah, I like your heart, sir. I'm crushing on your heart. So you see, mm. just one no, 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 nah, I was actually joking. Head. No, I just I just want you to continue. I maybe no, I, no, I like the sound of they like my hair, but they are crushing on your heart. So, sir, oh, really? Sir. Oh, yes, really? Sir. On your oh, sorry, I came to your yes, house sir. and because yeah, you're so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry. <laughs> so what are the bonuses that are included in this plan? First one is evaluation and review of your manuscript. This part, someone said, someone made a comment here. I think I, I missed it. Someone said that um, Reuters does not have a space for them to, for people to send their manuscript. Like, um, let me look for it. Okay. I noticed Reuters did not create space in the, on their website for submission of manuscripts for perusal and publication, just like the Southern Republic publishers and Farafina. We do actually warrita.com yeah. slash f f m r. So if you go to warrita.com slash f m r, you what are able FMR? to. What does it stand for? That's free manuscript review. Okay. That's what FMR. it actually means. F m r okay. free manuscript review. Okay. So there you read about our uh, you know process of um, receiving your manuscripts, and of course for this ebook is also coming is part of the um you know stuff you're going to be getting um for this ebook we don't make it open this link i just mentioned now we don't make it open on the website um because it's actually a paid service if we are going to be reviewing your so we only make it open now i'm making it open because i'm on this section and of course because um of this ebook plan okay so it's not it's not so visible to everybody that okay fine there is this um free because if you come to us that you want us to review your manuscript and evaluate it you're going to be paying all right it's not free but for the benefit of this ebook platform and for the purpose of me being on this page today it's free if uh, your manuscript is set but you need evaluation report okay yeah so warrita.com slash fmr yeah. So I think I, I also need to add this part so yeah. that most traditional publishing houses, they offer free uh, manuscripts reviews because they want to ensure that your book is what they want to publish. Like, yes. Because they'll be yes. getting a huge percentage of the court. So they want to ensure that you know, they're, they're leaving yeah. the, the, the review open so that they can get as much books as they can, so they can review and know, okay, maybe this one is going to be a bestseller and all that, right? So, but for yeah. Warital, we do yeah. hybrid and self-publishing, right? So if you want us to- Self-publishing and hybrid, work, yeah. Yes, so if you want us to review your work, yeah. you don't have to pay, but because you are my session, you see, because you're noting as a favor, it is going to be free for you. And if you're going for mm -hmm. this ebook plan, it's going to be free for you, okay? So the first one is free evaluation mm -hmm. and manuscripts of your ebook. Second one is 30 minutes interview mm -hmm. on Mr. Fola's wall on Facebook of over 100, um, 100,000, 10,000 followers. 100, you dashed me 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to capitalize on it. You just paid me 100,000. <laughs> Woo. Can somebody say amen to that? I need that amen. Amen. I want a hundred K. Yeah, good. That's prophecy oh from my God. Um, Prophet Chinasa Fever. Okay. So the next time you come to my world, you will just see hundred K. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Okay. So um um interview on Mr. Fola's page. He has over ten thousand following on Facebook. Okay. 
um 30 minute interview also on emeka novice's page if you know emeka novice you know that he has quality audience and following all right and he's also one of the brand ambassadors of war of warital so you'll be having 30 minute interview session with him talking about your book right and then also on my platform like this we'll have 30 minutes of you sharing the ideas from your book just for more people to get to see what you do now tell me mr fala you are so yeah. futuristic and client driven that sometimes i wonder why i wonder why because you go very far lengths to give your authors visibility as in yeah. who does that and it's when you do these things it only makes sense to me when you said i want to make celebrities out of your authors like yeah. authors should be celebrated like, it's a big deal to be an author so yeah imagine having somebody talking about their books on three on these platforms on my platform on american business platform just for more people to see their books and to see them know about their book yeah. and buy it's a big deal for you to for anybody to even be hosted on my platform like this you know how much are you how much you pay and then on american business page you know how much the person will pay but just because yeah. we are working with warital we want to help you get You're that the- it's a big deal yeah it's a big yeah. like it's a big deal. Another one is your book will be mentioned on Books Ignite Show on Nigeria Info P H C T. Yes, the book will be mentioned yeah. on radio. Imagine that. How cool is it? Nigeria Info yeah. for Tarkad City. Really, really yeah. amazing. Like, really, really amazing. Another one is three paid art um, three days paid art. When I saw this one, I paused. I said, ah, God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I come up like yeah. this, and this was subconscious. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. Three days paid ads on Facebook and Instagram, and on Warital's page, directing people to your book. I mean, how cool is that? Another one is a mention of you and your book on the national newspaper. Imagine your book mentioned, it just gets. Um, a newspaper and you see your book there mentioned with your name and your book mentioned you know because we don't really people don't really pay attention to newspapers especially my generation they don't really think newspapers are that much of a big deal anymore but if you know how much power these newspaper yeah. houses have you not yeah. neglect yeah. being mentioned on a, on a, on a national yeah. newspaper so that is a big deal free ebook by fola fola but they trust for sale is currently writing that book and it's going to be free to you all right building a trustworthy brand now if there's anybody that's built a trustworthy brand that i know about one of the people because other people that i know now will be like so you mean i've not built a trustworthy brand so, I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> so mr Kola is one of the people i know that built a brand that you can really vouch for now in book mm. publishing, you can call Warital anywhere. You can take your book published by Warital anywhere in the world and it will be highly recognized. Okay, so people say, oh, can anything good come out from Nigeria? Yes, Jehovah, Jesus came from Nazareth. Warital is coming from Nigeria. Mm. And it's amazing the work that we do at Warital, right? So I'm testing that. I'm testing it. Mm. Mr. Father will give you access to his free, um, to his ebook. Um, Trust for sale, building a trustworthy brand. Okay. Another one is yeah. free, five free epic sales converting copies to generate leads for your book for the first few days of releasing it. Mr. Fala, I'm coming. I'm brand ambassador, but I'm coming for this plan because I must write. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I must write ebook. Uh-uh. <laughs> and then when we print copies of your book, you get a full interview with a national newspaper. In, um, okay. You get a few interview with the national newspaper, interview with TVC or Rave TV. Ha! I'll be on TV, mommy. I'm going to be on nah. TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be on TV. Ha! Just write it. Yeah. 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 That's the ha, idea. Do. That's ha. the idea. Nah. Then interview on Nigeria Info for Tarkod City again. Then yeah. free promotional flyer and mock up. That is really yeah. amazing. Well, if, if you want Walter to do these things for you separately, you'll be, you'll be looking at millions, actually. 
but just because they want to help more people to publish their books because i mean there's an idea in each of us there's a solution in every one of us right and the more we are yeah. able to yeah. put our ideas out and get more people to say the more solutions we bring to the world so Royal understands this and they want mm. to give you the opportunity to publish your book so they're not telling you now to bring millions for them to publish your printed copies your printed books they're giving you the opportunity to really bring out your idea and then maybe from the sales of your from the sales of your book you're able to raise money to mm. print it and i mean the print. there's no end to how far you can get and then the beauty you of e books is that yeah. anybody from anywhere can access it right so when your book is hosted yeah. Yeah. on maybe amazon kdp maybe hosted on of course on robert house book place you are sure that it is protected all these um prom uh, promoters that will want to say okay buy my course and get this one as a bonus they will not be using your book as bonus which is, I mean, it, bonus, it's hard yeah. thinking, right? So please, if you are an author yeah. here or you have an idea that you want to write on, whether you can write or not, Wordsal can help you write. But if you want Wordsal to write for you, it is different from the ebook plan. It should be added to the ebook plan. But if you already have your manuscript yeah. and it, you know, you want Wordsal to publish it for you, just four hundred and eighty thousand naira, all of these things will be done for you. All of for you. it, yeah. Right? We are not capping, we are not exaggerating. Trust me, this is even less than what you'll be getting for publishing with Warrital. All right. Um, that is all that we have to say to you. I don't know if anybody has any more question, but we are done any more questions. Mr. Yeah. Father, thank you so much for coming on here. Thank you. Thank you for the thank exposition. Thank you so much I mean, for having me. Everyone that joined here has become wiser, I'm sure. I'm sure. Mm. Yeah, become I'm more security conscious. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing that much because many publishing companies would not share it. Yeah, but they would they would yeah. hold the information yeah. and keep them to themselves. But you shared without yeah. even thinking, without worrying about anything. So thank you very much, sir. Please, what do thank we do to like, before he goes off? What do we say? What do we say? Thank you, sir. So in the absence of any question i can't see any anymore um okay i think i'll let you go it's been an awesome time always always an awesome time having conversations with you both yeah. on screen and off screen because yeah. you are so amazing you are so phenomenal and i'm so blessed to be working with you and the brand thank, thank you, very you much. so so much thank you i appreciate this section thank you everyone for joining Thank you for being part of um, Chinasa's um, community. It, I don't take it for granted. Anytime I have the opportunity of coming to speak on um, this. To me, I'm seeing 90,000 people physically in front of me. That's how I see it. So thank you so very much for having me. Thank you for all you do, Chinasa. And thank you, everyone out there writing, trying to um, you know um, chase one thing or the other, trying to get better trying to uh, leave a footprint you know thank you for doing all you are doing it may not look like it now but it will definitely be worth it at the end of the day thank you for joining the section bye for now bye sir all right wow wow so only saying i should command my followers to follow my <laughs> there's no way to command i'm not commanding anybody if you gained value from this session it's only wise i don't know why we have to always tell human beings what to do if you gain value from this i think it's only wise it's the right thing to do and the proper thing to do actually to follow this plan to follow warital on facebook and instagram and you know look out for more things from them and then maybe if you're not really convinced about the quality of their work you can look out on their platforms and see the books that they have published and the authors that they have worked with. I mean, that's the way to do your own research, isn't it? So yeah, I'm not commanding you. I'm not uh, an authoritarian. I'm not a military personnel. I just wish that humans would do the right things, right? So thank you everyone for joining this session. I hope it was expository for you. I had an awesome time. And like I said before, I'm going to trademark everything. Ah, God. 
they have not seen they, they never seen me coming i'm trademarking everything like everything everything thank you very much and we hope that you get to work with us on your ebook project so that will be all for now bye so like come again remain good remain calm remain productive